In the early days of BiCAD, all the information necessary to build the frame was exported in a CSV file. And you can still generate one of those today. If you just go to the File menu, Export Building Specs in CSV File, BiCAD will generate a comma-separated values file which you can import into a spreadsheet program like Excel or in this case I've got OpenOffice. And all the information you need to build the frame is tabulated here. What was awkward about the CSV file was that in order to really clearly describe what all the dimensions are, the dimension name needed to be fairly verbose. Later, more effort was invested in the dimensions dialog box. So all the information necessary to build the frame is also presented there. As you can see, the dimensions appear right on the screen, and it's clear what every dimension means when you look at it closely. Now, although on-screen dimensions are convenient and you can print them out in a PDF file, some do prefer just to have the dimensions in a spreadsheet form. Over the years, as new features were added to BikeCAD, the dimensions associated with those new features weren't necessarily added to the CSV file. The CSV file has sort of been neglected a bit over the years. But because there are so many builders that really like to use the CSV file, I've, in 6.5, updated it to include all the information in the dimensions dialog box. So every dimension you see here in the dialog box is also in the CSV file. Same goes the other way. All the information that was once in the CSV file is now also in the dimensions dialog box. So when you look at the CSV, V file, if there is a dimension there that you're not exactly sure what the meaning of it is, you can confirm what it is by looking in the dimensions dialog box. Another enhancement in 6.5 is that you can customize the CSV file. So if you go to View, Customize, and then go to the Configure CSV Output tab, we have this entire screen dedicated to customizing how our CSV file is formatted. First of all, we can choose the character encoding. UTF-8 should work for 99% of cases, but if you want to use a different character encoding, all the available options are there. The CSV file includes several columns of data. So we have a column for the categories, a column for the dimension itself, the name of the dimension. We've got a column for the the number, we've got a column for the units of that number, we've got a column for whether the value is driving or driven. Some people are confused about what that means. If a dimension is, I'm just going to pull up uh, the primary dimensions dialog box to explain this, because we can directly input the seat angle into BiCAD and because we can directly input the head angle and the head tube length, all these dimensions we directly input into BiCAD are driving dimensions. The dimensions that are derived from those driving dimensions are what we call driven dimensions. So there's just a, a column, as you can see on the right here, that just says, well, this dimension is a driven dimension, or that dimension is a driving dimension. Going back to the View Customize dialog box, you can see we have a column dedicated to that, for what it's worth. A new enhancement in 6.5 is that we also have a column for notes. So next to each dimension, see here we have the component dimensions. We have the arrow pad drop from saddle. If you would like, you can actually type in some note to associate with that dimension, just maybe for further clarification. Now, going back to this list up here, all of these columns can be enabled or disabled. So if you don't want a column dedicated to the category of the dimension, you can just uncheck that box. If you want to rely more on your notes, you want to come up with your own name for a dimension, you could uncheck the dimension box. That'll disable the, the dimension column, leaving you to create your own name for the dimension in the notes column. Of course, you can use them both in, in unison or disable the notes. Maybe you don't need that. Units. Is the dimension measured in millimeters? Is it an angular dimension, which you measure in degrees? You can turn that column on or off, as well as the column for driving or driven. So that's a new enhancement for 6.5. Moving on down here, we have a listing of all the categories of dimensions 
that we can output. So if you want to skip out on an entire category altogether, you can disable that category and those dimensions will not appear in the CSV file. Then if you look at the tabs along here, we have all the dimensions associated with these values listed. So individually we can disable any one of these dimensions that we're not interested in. So once you've configured your CSV file as you like, you just have to go save settings, changes have been saved, and you can go and generate your CSV file right away. You don't have to restart or anything. Bikehead will generate the CSV file according to your specifications. So that's an, an update on the CSV output file.